Hi designers, welcome to SolidWorks Central. In this tutorial, we'll be modeling exercise eight step by step. You'll practice essential features like extruded boss base, rib, mirror, and delete face to strengthen your SolidWorks fundamentals. The technical drawing is available in the description, so feel free to download it and follow along. All right, let's get started. First, Let's open a sketch on the front plane. Select the circle tool. Draw two circles with their center at the origin. Activate the Smart Dimension tool. Set the diameter of the larger circle to 80 millimeters. Set the diameter of the smaller circle to 50 millimeters. Now, Select the Line tool. Draw a horizontal line dividing the circles in half. Select the Trim Entities tool and remove the extra segments. Keep Power Trim active. Select the Line tool again. Draw a vertical line. Now, Hover your mouse over the endpoint, move away slightly, and then return. SolidWorks will automatically switch to the arc command. Finish the line here. Since the arc's center point isn't defined yet, it remains underdefined and is free to move. Add a vertical relation between the arc center and the origin. Activate the Smart Dimension tool. Set the radius of the arc to 20 millimeters. Set the distance between the arc center and the origin to 50 millimeters. Select the circle tool again. Draw a circle at the center of the arc. Activate the smart dimension tool once more and set the diameter of the circle to 10 millimeters. From the Features tab, select the Extruded Boss Base command. We have two closed contours. The Selected Contours option allows you to extrude only specific closed regions from a sketch. In the Selected Contours box, select the closed contour where we'll set the first depth. For end condition, choose Mid-Plane. By dragging the arrow, you can see it creates an equal depth in both directions. Set the depth value to 80 millimeters. Click OK. Return to the sketch. Click once and activate the extruded boss base command again. In the selected contours box, select the other closed contour. Keep the end condition set to mid plane. Set the depth value to 30 millimeters. Make sure merge result remains checked. Click OK. This part is complete. Let's continue. Click on this face and open a new sketch. Look normal to the plane. Select the center rectangle tool. Draw a rectangle with the origin as its center. Activate the Smart Dimension tool. Set the longer side to 160 millimeters. Set the shorter side to 60 millimeters. Activate the Sketch Fillet tool. Enter a fillet radius of 20 millimeters. To apply it to all corners, Select the entire rectangle. Click OK. Select the circle tool. At the centers of the fillets, draw a circle at each corner. Hold Ctrl or Shift and select all the circles. Add an equal relation. 
activate the Smart Dimension tool and set the circle diameter to 10 millimeters. Now, select the extruded boss base command. Set the end condition to blind. Reverse the direction. Set the depth value to 25 millimeters. Click OK. And that completes this section. To remove this extra portion, let's use the delete face command. Right-click on any of the command tabs. From the tabs menu, enable the Direct Editing tab. From the Direct Editing tab, select the Delete Face command. Delete Face removes selected faces from a solid body. In the Faces to Delete box, select the faces you want to remove. Keep Delete and Patch selected. Delete and Patch closes the gap by automatically filling the removed faces with surrounding geometry. Next, let's move on to the Rib command. Open a new sketch on the front plane. Hit Normal 2. Select the Line tool. Draw a line starting from the point where it intersects the arc. Activate the Smart Dimension tool. Set the horizontal distance between this point and the origin to 45 millimeters. Make sure the sketch is fully defined with no blue geometry remaining. From the Features tab, select the Rib command. Here, by clicking the arrow, you can change the direction where the rib will be created or check flip material side to reverse the direction. Keep thickness set to both sides. Set the rib thickness to 10 millimeters. Click OK. Mirror the rib feature we just created to the other side. To do this, select the mirror command. In the mirror face or plane box, select the right plane from the feature tree as the mirror plane. In the Features to Mirror box, select the rib feature we just created. Click OK. From the Edit Appearance menu, apply a colour to the part. I've chosen yellow, but you can select any colour you like. Remember, there are always multiple ways to create the same part. For beginners, I suggest checking the PDF in the description and trying this exercise again with different methods. Over time, with practice and persistence, you'll discover your own faster and more efficient techniques. And that's how we've completed our Exercise 8 model in SOLIDWORKS. If this tutorial was helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to SOLIDWORKS Central for more step-by-step -step lessons. Have any questions or ideas for future videos? Drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.